Welcome back. In today's episode, we'll take a deep dive into the exciting realm of cell culture-based vaccines. Vaccines have revolutionized the way we combat infectious diseases, and cell culture technology has played a vital role in their development. So, let's explore the fascinating world of cell culture-based vaccines together. What is cell culture-based vaccine? A cell culture-based vaccine refers to a type of vaccine that is produced using cell lines in a laboratory setting. In this method, specific cells are chosen and cultivated to support the growth and replication of a target pathogen, mainly viruses. The pathogen is then introduced into the cells, which multiply and produce the desired antigens. These antigens, which can be proteins, glycoproteins, or polysaccharides, are purified and formulated into vaccines. Cell culture-based vaccines offer advantages such as improved safety, precise control over antigen production, scalability, and faster production timelines. They have been instrumental in the development of vaccines for various diseases and have contributed to disease prevention efforts worldwide. What are the different cell lines used in cell culture-based vaccine production? There are several different cell lines commonly used in cell culture-based vaccine production. Here are a few examples. Vero cell line. Vero cells are derived from the kidney of an African green monkey. They are widely used for the production of vaccines against viruses such as poliovirus, rabies virus, and certain strains of influenza virus. MDCK cell line. MDCK, Madden Darby canine kidney, cells are derived from the kidney of a dog. They are frequently employed for the production of influenza vaccines, including both seasonal influenza and pandemic strains. Cho cell line. Cho, Chinese hamster ovary, cells are derived from the ovary of the Chinese hamster. They are extensively used in the biopharmaceutical industry for the production of various vaccines, including hepatitis B vaccine and human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccine. HEC 293 cell line, HEK 293, human embryonic kidney 293, cells are derived from human embryonic kidney tissue. They have been utilized in the production of vaccines against viruses such as adenovirus and HIV. Per C6 cell line, per C6 cells are derived from human retinal tissue. They have been utilized in the development and production of vaccines, including those against influenza and Ebola virus. MRC5 cell line, human lung fibroblast cells, MRC5 cells have been historically used for vaccine production, including for vaccines against rubella and hepatitis A. It's important to note that the selection of a specific cell line depends on various factors such as the type of pathogen, its growth requirements, safety considerations, and regulatory approval for vaccine production. Different cell lines offer unique advantages and are chosen based on their ability to support the replication of the target virus and the specific needs of vaccine development. What is the purpose of cell culture-based vaccines? The purpose of cell culture-based vaccines is to produce safe and effective vaccines for the prevention and control of infectious diseases. These vaccines are developed using cell lines in a laboratory setting, offering several advantages over traditional methods of vaccine production. Safety. Cell culture-based vaccines provide a higher level of safety compared to live attenuated or inactivated pathogen-based vaccines. The replication of the pathogen in cell lines allows for controlled attenuation or inactivation, reducing the risk of causing disease in vaccinated individuals. Precise antigen production. Cell culture technology enables precise control over the production of viral or bacterial antigens. This allows for consistent and reproducible production of vaccines with well-defined antigen content, ensuring their potency and effectiveness. Scalability. Cell culture-based vaccine production offers scalability, making it easier to meet the demand for large quantities of vaccines. Cell lines can be expanded and maintained in culture, allowing for efficient and high-volume production of antigens. Rapid response to emerging diseases. Cell culture-based vaccine production provides the flexibility to respond quickly to emerging infectious diseases. Once the cell line and production process are established, it becomes easier to adapt and produce vaccines against newly identified pathogens, allowing for timely responses to outbreaks and pandemics. Improved vaccine quality. The use of cell culture systems allows for better control of the vaccine production process, including purification and quality assurance steps. This results in vaccines with reduced impurities and enhanced purity, ensuring higher quality and safety standards. Potential for vaccine innovation. Cell culture-based vaccines offer opportunities for vaccine innovation and development. Researchers can explore new cell lines, 
optimize production processes, and employ advanced technologies to enhance vaccine effectiveness and broaden the range of diseases that can be targeted. In summary, the purpose of cell culture-based vaccines is to provide safe, effective, scalable, and high-quality vaccines for the prevention and control of infectious diseases. They offer advantages in terms of safety, precision, scalability, and adaptability, contributing to global efforts to combat various pathogens and protect public health. What are the examples of cell culture-based vaccines? There are several examples of cell culture-based vaccines that have been developed and widely used for the prevention of various infectious diseases. Here are some notable examples. Influenza vaccines. Many influenza vaccines are produced using cell culture-based methods. Cell lines such as MDCK, Madden Darby K9 kidney, cells or Vero cells are used to propagate the influenza virus and produce the viral antigens necessary for the vaccine. Hepatitis A vaccine. The hepatitis A vaccine is produced using cell culture-based methods. Human diploid cell lines, such as MRC5, Medical Research Council 5, cells, are commonly used for the growth and production of the hepatitis A virus antigens. Hepatitis B vaccine. The hepatitis B vaccine is also produced using cell culture-based methods. Cho, Chinese hamster ovary, cells are frequently employed to produce the hepatitis B surface antigen, HBSAG, for the vaccine. Polio vaccines. Cell culture-based methods are used for the production of inactivated polio vaccines, IPV. Vero cells or other suitable cell lines are used for the growth and inactivation of the poliovirus to produce the vaccine. Rabies vaccines. Cell culture-based methods are utilized for the production of rabies vaccines. Vero cells or other cell lines are used for the propagation and inactivation of the rabies virus to produce the vaccine. Varicella, chickenpox, vaccine. The varicella vaccine is produced using cell culture-based methods. Human diploid cell lines, such as MRC5 cells, are used for the propagation and production of the varicella zoster virus antigens. Conclusion. Cell culture-based vaccines have significantly advanced the field of immunization. By using cell lines to propagate and produce viral antigens, these vaccines offer enhanced safety, scalability, and precise control over antigen production. Cell line have played a pivotal role in the development of vaccines for diseases such as influenza, hepatitis, polio, and HPV. With their ability to respond rapidly to emerging diseases and their potential for innovation, cell culture-based vaccines continue to be instrumental in protecting public health and preventing the spread of infectious diseases. That's all for today's episode. Kindly subscribe my channel for more content related to microbiology. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay informed.